Hello, friends, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England, and I am coming at you today with a subscriber requested video on an issue that has been brought to our attention. We have uh, had previous videos on how to download Dawa's Smart PSS uh, for use on a PC or a Mac as client software. In other words, you can download that program and view your cameras on your local network or remotely. We have been told by viewers since the time of that video that Smart PSS has been discontinued and they are not able to follow the instructions in that video to download Dawa's client software. So we're updating our video. The other one was, uh, I guess, at least a year old. Uh, but as you can see on the screen, there is a note, Smart PSS has been discontinued and is no longer supported for Windows and M-series Macintosh computers. Please download and install Smart PSS Lite instead. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to bring that change to your attention and also to teach you how to download um, the new DAWA Smart PSS Lite. All right, it's a simple process. Let's get into it. All right, friends, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be notified when we upload future content like this. Also, like the video uh, if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. This video and several like it were created due to uh, viewer and subscriber questions and comments. If somebody didn't bring this up to me, this particular uh, issue. Um, it might have taken me longer to uh, to realize that and update the video. So the first thing we're going to do here uh, is we're going to go to dawawiki.com uh, and we are going to go to the Smart PSS Lite download. Okay, There is a link in the description to this video to bring you to this page. But what you're going to do, if you have a Windows computer, you can click here. As you see, if you have a Mac OS M series, click there. All right, we're on a Windows machine, so we're going to click this. And as you can see, that is downloading the Smart PSS Lite onto our computer. Okay, so once this download is done, we can install it. As you can see now, it's done the download. It says open file, so we'll click on that. And we'll double click here, and it will begin the installation process. Okay, a prompt usually comes up asking you to... Uh, agree to the install. There we are. Uh, I've read and agreed to the software agreement. If you want to read that, you can click there. Of course, click your language. We are speaking English. Um, it will tell you the folder it's going to create. And yes, we want to add the desktop shortcut for sure. We'll go ahead and install this. It may take a moment. I used to cut away during this type of thing with my videos and we had some users uh, that said, hey, you're cutting away because this takes too long or because you're running into problems. So now I just leave everything rolling for you. So you can see there's no games being played. Uh, it's successful. It's successful, friends. We can click Run PSS Lite uh, and hit Finish. And that should open the program here for us. Right down here. And here we are ready to add our devices, our hardware, whether it be a IP camera, an NVR, a uh, analog recorder, a DVR. Um, you're gonna do it the same way. We're gonna go where it says video monitor and click on that, hit okay. All right, not worried about display problems right now. Uh, we'll agree to the terms and agreements, which you can read through if you like. I'm going to just click through for the purposes of this video. Yes, we want to allow it uh, to download pictures. Um, I'm gonna agree here. Here you will set up um, a password and this password is just going to be for the software on the PC. It has nothing to do with your cameras. So 
So I will go ahead and put in a password here. And then I always click auto login after registration. That way you will not be prompted uh, to put in a password every time you want to view your cameras. If it's a multi-use computer and you want to limit the amount of people that can see the cameras, um, then you could leave auto login uh, unclicked, okay? Uh, but I want mine to open every time I click on it. Um, you can enter these passwords in case in the event that you forget your uh, password for the software, which happens. It happens. And believe it or not, when it does happen, even if you reinstall the software, if you uninstall it and reinstall it, um, it will still prompt for the password you initially created. So you do want to fill out these questions. And so... Um, if you get locked out, you can get back in. All right, I have answered my security questions. Maybe I can get into the software now. Here we go. All right, perfect. Uh, we're not gonna join that right now. But what we want to do down here, you can see devices, right? We have no devices added, all right? And neither will you when you install the software for the first time. Okay, lots of times people will have the old smart PSS, they'll buy a new computer when they buy the new computer and they have to reinstall it. Um, that's when they come across the issue smart PSS is no longer available and they have to switch to light. So you're going to have to reattach your devices. Okay, the easiest way to do this uh, is to auto search your network to find the devices and add them that way. So if you look at the top left corner, it will say auto search. All right. I can hit that and it's going to scan my local network and find any IP cameras, DVRs, NVRs, any hardware that I have, okay? And then I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna add that device, okay? And you'll have to put in the username and password. Now this is not the username and password of the software that you just downloaded. This is the user and name and password connected to the camera or the NVR, or the DVR that you have previously installed, okay? That will add that guy, okay? And we can get out of here, and it says it's online, right? So what we can do now is we can click out of devices, okay? We can go to live view, and I can pull up that camera, all right? And it's just kind of set up in the living room there. Looks like the dog's nice and comfortable taking a nap. All right. Um, if you would like to change the name, right now it's just the IP address of the camera. If you would like to change the name, um, so what we want to do is change that. How I change it, I can X out of live view, go back down here where it says device config or devices down here. You can see the camera listed, right? If we go over here to edit, I can name this test camera or whatever else I like, okay? And it will save that. Why can't I see the little apply button down at the bottom? There we go. And now when I live view, it will come up test camera. All right. Uh, simple as that with devices that are on your local network. Now, if you own multiple businesses and you have cameras employed remotely and you view them remotely, um, you're going to have to get the serial number to those devices. Um, if it is a NVR or an IP camera, they will have a label on with the serial number. Okay. And you simply put that in your device manager. Okay. So if I wanted to manually add, um, there's the name. We would put the add mode as serial number. You'd enter the serial number of the camera or the NVR slash DVR there. And then your username and credentials, and you could add it that way. Oftentimes, I'll take my laptop uh, to that remote location, plug into the local network there, do an auto search on site, uh, and add it that way. Okay, you can do that as well, because as you can see, you get the serial number. Okay. So it's a relatively simple process. As far as playing back, uh, live view, those types of things, it's the same as Smart PSS. There's really not a big difference. 
Um, but, but they switched to the light for security uh, concerns and they're trying to get NDAA compliant and that type of stuff. So if they tighten down the security, certainly on, on these uh, client software uh, programs as, as Geek Vision. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.